Hello friends, welcome back to another AI tutorial. My name is Iman. Today I'm going to show you how to convert 2D image into 3D with AI. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube Channel. Have you ever wanted to turn your 2D photos into animated 3D images? Well, convert.liapix.com is a website that offers an amazing feature to do just that. By simply uploading a standard image, their AI technology is able to analyze the photo and add depth and perspective, effectively making it seem like a 3D rendering. Not only that, but it also animates the image using a variety of motion parameters. This allows ordinary 2D photos to be converted into animated 3D images. Even better, it can output the creation as an MP4 video file. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use convert.liapix.com by uploading some sample images and showing off the powerful 3D animation and rendering capabilities it offers. Users are able to customize various settings to produce unique animations from their photos. To get started, open the website convert.liapix.com in your web browser. Sign up and create a free account on the website. Liapix website has recently been updated and its interface has changed slightly. To begin our work, we need an image. If you don't have one, I'll now teach you how to create your desired image for free using artificial intelligence. For this purpose, open the website leonardo.ai in your web browser. Sign up and create a free account on this website. In the left menu, click on the AI image generation option. In the text box above, describe the image you need, which is referred to as a prompt. In the drop-down list, you'll find various text models for generating images. I select the 3D animation style option. From the left and bottom menu, there's a handle for adjusting the dimensions of the image Image, which I adjust. From the drop-down list, set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. Now, click the generate button. The image will be ready. By clicking on the thumbnails, you can view them in a larger size. At the bottom of each image, there is an option to download for saving the images for free. Now that you have the image, with the method I taught you, you can turn your own ideas into an image with a simple text. Let's return to the Liapix website. By clicking on the upload button, I choose the desired image. I upload the image I created with Leonardo. Liapix performs a very brief processing on the image. A simple initial animation is performed by the website. Don't worry at all. You can customize this animation. For example, I make some changes from the right-hand menu, and you can see the result. But there are many parameters that allow you to control the animation, which I will explain in detail below. For this purpose, I select and upload a new image from my computer's hard drive. Afterward, a simple initial animation is done by the website, but we intend to make some changes. On the right side, there is a panel with various features at our disposal. Now, with a free registration on this website, we have 500 credits for animation and exporting. With the full screen option, we can view the animation in a larger size. Using the depth map option, we can control the depth and 3D rendering of the image. However, in the latest update of this website, this feature is temporarily unavailable. In the animation style menu, there are presets available for creating various movements to the right, left, up, and down. By clicking on any of these presets, you will quickly see the results on the image. A bit further down, we have the animation length section, which allows you to adjust the animation speed, making it slower or faster as you desire. This parameter affects the length of the animation with increasing and decreasing speed. Lower down in the amount of motion menu, we have the less and more options that allow us to control the intensity of motion by selecting them. In the right-hand submenu, the focus point allows us to focus on a specific point and have the motion based on the section we focus on. Here we have the close and far options that allow us to focus the motion on the front and back of the subject. Lower down we have the edge dilation menu that I will upload a new image to explain. By clicking the upload button, I select and upload a new image from my computer's hard drive. Around each subject, a selection boundary is created by the website. With edge dilation we can increase or decrease this boundary edge. I open the edge dilation section. This section has two options, less and more. I choose the less option. You can see that the border around the subject is now at its minimum. Now I select the more option. You can see that the border around the image has increased and is fully visible. You can control this as desired for different images. To provide a complete description of the advanced editor menu, I upload a new image. A bit later, a depth animation is created. I open the advanced editor menu. I decrease all parameters to zero to explain each one individually. I increase the amplitude X parameter, and as you can see, 
The motion is now limited along the x-axis. I increase the amplitude y parameter, and as you can see, the motion is now limited along the y-axis. I increase the amplitude z parameter, and as you can see, the motion is now limited along the z-axis. By increasing all three of these parameters, motions in the x, y, and z-axis are combined. I will explain the parameters phase x, y, z in a new image. I click on the upload button and select and upload a new image from the hard drive. I decrease the animation length parameter. I increase the amount of motion parameter. In the advanced editor section, I increase the amplitude x, y, z parameters. I also decrease the phase parameters. When phase x is at its minimum value, the motion along the x-axis is completely linear. However, when I increase phase x, circular or rotational motion along the x-axis is created. When phase y is at its minimum value, the motion along the y-axis is completely linear. However, when I increase phase y, circular or rotational motion along the y-axis is created. When phase z is at its minimum value, the motion along the z-axis is completely linear. However, when I increase phase z, circular or rotational motion along the z-axis is created. To illustrate the focus point parameter on the Leiapix website, I'll provide another example. By clicking on the upload button, I select and upload another image from my hard drive. After creating the depth animation, I reduce the animation length parameter. I increase the amount of motion parameter. I also configure the parameters in the advanced editor in a way that allows me to explain the focus point parameter better. In this scenario, I set the focus point parameter to close. Take a look at the animation. In the background, where the trees are, there is a lot of motion. Now, I set the focus point parameter to far. In this case, most of the motion is in the foreground. And in the background, where the trees are, there is much less motion. With this example, I hope the function of the focus point parameter in creating depth animation has become clearer for you. After you have converted 2D images to 3D and created an animation, you can obtain an MP4 output. There is an export button at the top of the website. I click on it. In the drop-down list under file type, you can configure your desired output format. In this list, some outputs like MP4 720, Facebook 3D, or Depth Map are free. But for an MP4 output with the original image size, it will deduct credits from your account. However, by registering for free on the Leiapix website, you receive 500 credits. I select one of the MP4 options from the list and click on the Save option. This way, an MP4 animation output is created by the Leiapix website. I've taught you all the parameters, technical details, and tricks for converting 2D images into 3D and creating depth animation using the Leiapix website. If you're interested in AI tutorials, and if this tutorial has been helpful to you, please like, comment, and share this video with your friends. I'll see you in the next video.